Hi everybody, my name is Brian, and uh, here's my partner, is Danny. Uh, my name is Danny. Today, I will be talking about a very magical unit in chemistry. Chemistry is a subject which reason the particle. In chemistry, every element is different. They have the different atomic mass and atomic number and a proton. But all of them have a same unit. It's called mole. Hi, Brian. Can I ask you why is mole? Uh, mole is the heart of the chemistry because it allows different substances to be measured. Mm -hmm. uh, using the same number of moles of two substances, both amounts have the, un uh, have the same number of molecules or atoms. The so mole makes it easier to understand the chemical equation. Uh, for example, I will give you a equ equation like 2 uh, H2 two two. plus O2 uh, equal to mm -hmm. H2O. Oh, oh, I understand it. Uh, and we also have a formula. Uh, one mole of any substance equals to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd representative uh, particles. Mm -hmm. The representative particles can be atoms, uh, molecules, mm -hmm. uh, or the ions. Uh, uh, and we call this kind of number uh, Avogadro's number. Avogadro is an Italian scientist who find who find the who defined the mole. Oh, I know. Mole is a very magical union. Do you know what's the size of the mole? Uh, mole is a very very small unit. Mm -hmm. um, we can't like. Uh, uh, we, we don't have the unit for the mole, like mm -hmm. uh, it's very very small, like uh, eight, 18 grams of water mm -hmm. is one mole, so uh, we can't give them a unit for one uh, for the one particle of the mole, mm -hmm. but uh, if we cite a particle, it's uh, 15 centimeters long mm -hmm. uh, and uh, 5 centimeters tall mm -hmm. and uh, has a mass of uh, like 145 grams. Mm -hmm. We can find the mass of one more particle is 8.73 times 10 to the 22, uh, 22nd uh, kilograms, which is the 6 times the uh, combined mass of the Earth's ocean and the oh. length of the one more particles can reach the nearest star from the Earth. Oh, that's very cool. Thank you, Brian. Uh, also, we can use the mole to calculate the mass of the element or compound <laughs> in one mole, um, and uh, the volume of gas. So come on, Danny, give an example. Sure, no problem. It will be one more. to autumn mass to one more. Okay, yeah, we can use this kind of chart to calculate the mass of the element and the com or compounds in, in the gram. Uh, so we have a special name for it, uh, for the answer. We have a very special name, it's like molar mass. More than that. So, uh, and uh, mm, for one mole, uh, and uh, Avogadro's number, like one mole equals six point oh two times ten to the twenty third molecules, atoms, or ions, or something. Uh, uh, so we also have a chart for it. Uh, we we can know uh how many particles in like. In one more, in two more, yeah. So, Danny, okay, draw the chart. Let me do the chart. One, one more. Um, six, two, oh, two, two, and ten to the twenty three. Oh, yes, not a um. One more. Okay, and Brian, I also asked, what is that equal to? 
Um, it equals to one thousand. Hey Brian, is it right? Yeah, that's good. Uh, and uh, we also have a formula for the uh, gas, like uh, uh, the volume, like how many liters in one mole. Hmm. Okay. For the gas. Yeah. yeah so I think I know what's the formula. Is it? Um, yeah, almost the same thing, but just uh, change the top. Change here to 22.4 liters. Yeah. yeah. After the video, we have some questions for y'all.